for those of you that have high value services in your practice, things like placing restoring implants, things like adult orthodontics, uh, maybe cosmetic dentistry, lab fabricated porcelain veneer case, maybe complex restorative dentistry, consider creating a template that's going to allow you to do more high value dentistry. For example, Darren, let's say you want to do more porcelain veneer cases. And let's say you're doing 10 unit aid or 10 unit upper anterior porcelain veneer cases. And, and maybe your appointment time to prep and temporize that case is four hours. Um, and then later, uh, you're going to get the veneers back from the lab and you're going to seat those veneers. And, and maybe your seat time is three hours to seat those veneers. Then you can see that you virtually used up a day in your schedule uh, to do a veneer case. Um, uh, you know, a morning to prep and temporize it and an, uh, an afternoon in the future to seat that case. So you can start to design a template where you say, you know what, I think I'd like to do at least a couple of those cases a month and start to carve out, make, make one of those days your veneer day. And you might want to start out, uh, you know, if you're a four day a week dentist, you might want to start out on Friday. Now, I don't want to encroach on your personal time. I want you to have work-life balance. But maybe as you're starting to grow that, you schedule those days on Friday with no hygiene exams. So you're not going to be distracted, you know, two or three times an hour to get up and do hygiene exams. You can just put your head down, work out all your systems. So maybe in the morning, you know, you schedule a prep, 10-unit prep. In the afternoon, you schedule a different 10-unit seat case. Put those in your schedule. Uh, and then work towards finding the patients to fill those, whether it be through marketing or your, uh, your existing patients that have an interest in those services. And then as soon as you feel like you've got a good flow for those appointments and everything's going well, then in order to get back to a four-day schedule, start to schedule those during your Monday through Friday schedule and start to incorporate those on a regular basis. And again, you might use the concept of a release Maybe we have those scheduled and we use a one week release time. In other words, if we can't fill it with the ideal high value service, then we open it up a week ahead of time to just fill it with everyday general dentistry. Your team should be able to fill that if they have a, week, a week's advance notice. But you know, if you don't start planning for those cases, they're not gonna happen accidentally. You might as well create a, a scheduling template to accommodate those cases. I Absolutely. Long, Darren, I have a long time client. Um, that uh, he's gotten to the point where three days a week, he's an everyday general dentist. He, he loves doing everyday general dentistry. He's got uh, two hygienists uh, each one of those days. Um, and then his fourth day is that cosmetic day. And he either sees you know one patient in the morning, different patient in the afternoon. Uh, and he has a single hygienist that day um, so that, you know, he only has to get up once an hour, gives the patient a chance to rest their mouth and he gets up, uh, you know, rest their jaw as their mouth's been open. And he goes and does his hygiene exam. And he loves that fourth day because that's where he's doing the dentistry that he enjoys doing most.